Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux. And this is an older video that I did on Genie. It was a little bit more than three months ago. And today I want to do a follow up video. And the reason why, for, there's two reasons. One is even at that time, three months ago, I wanted to do a second video because I felt like, you know, I could have added some more stuff, but I didn't want the video to go more than 20 minutes. And so, and I would never use the term power user in any way, shape or form, but there is some functionality that I kind of left on the table that I didn't really like talk about. And so today is the day. If you have seen this video, thanks very much. If you have not, then I will leave a link in the description as well as one of those clicky things somewhere on the screen. Now, I mentioned that there was two reasons I am following up on this initial video. It's because there has been four people reach out to me this week alone that have said, hey, how do you do this in Genie? How do you configure it this way? And I've been on two screen share calls trying to help folks out um, setting something up, which led me to create this document that I have at GitHub called My Genie. This will be linked in the description below under show notes. Um, I have done a lot of screen captures to show exactly how I have done certain things. And I will try not to repeat myself, but I probably will need to go back and forth just to demonstrate a couple things. Sorry about that. First things first, I want to talk about the plugins. Most of them are the same. I have add-ons, git change bar, markdown, spell check, and tree browser, all the same as last time. I have included insert num. I've found a few use cases where this is a nice feature to have. I've included plugin vim mode or vi mode. However, I do not use this plugin any longer. However, if you are wanting to make the transition and learn Vim Motions, uh, this might be helpful. I just don't use this any longer. So I am going to go back up to the top of the document, and I am going to talk about the interface here for a sec. Now notice, I have show sidebar off, as well as show symbol list and show document list. Now, the only thing that I want to show up in my sidebar when I toggle it on using a key bind is the tree browser, okay? Now, by showing the document list and the tree browser, both makes no sense at all. However, if you would like the symbol list, the symbol list is really good if you are writing code that has functions in it so that you can see, oh, that's where that function is. And if you click on that function, it will go to where it is located in your code. I don't write enough code to make this, uh, to have this checked on. I guess I could if I was writing more, more code. However, uh, I only want the tree browser to be visible when I toggle sidebar on. And it is in the left position. By default, message window is at the bottom and I have moved it to the right. And the reason why I have moved it to the right is because of the Markdown plugin. So when I use the Markdown plugin and I say show message window, I want it to be on the right hand side. Let me show you that these two things really quickly, okay? So on, in my Genie, I have a Markdown file. And I've been writing in Markdown more and more recently. So this is a big deal for me. And I'm gonna go into tools and look at the plugin manager. Again, these are the things that I have currently loaded uh, into this configuration of Genie. So I am gonna click on Markdown and go to preferences. Now, by default, Markdown is in the sidebar position and I have it going to message window. So that is the, and I also, by default, if I go into preferences and look at the interface, message window is bottom by default, and I'm moving it to the right, okay? And the reason why is because of this and this alone. I'm gonna use alt period to show or toggle the message window. 
And there is um, my preview of this particular file, this particular markdown file. Now I can see already that there's a mistake right here. And so I want to enter so that these bullet points are correct, okay? So I didn't know that before, <laughs> but it works now, so that's, that's good. Um, and you can also, if like, you know, by editing the file, it shows in the preview live, which is great, okay? I really like having the live markdown preview on, but there are times and occasions where I want to turn it off. So I just toggle it off by using alt period again to toggle the message window off. And I get to what I would call more of a focused uh, mode. Now I also use alt comma. Alt comma opens up the sidebar. And the sidebar has one thing and one thing only, and that is the tree browser plugin. Before I get too much further, let me go into preferences and I'm in the key bindings or keyboard shortcuts and I am gonna scroll down to view. And this is where I set toggle message window, so alt period and toggle sidebar, alt comma. Okay, and by the way, if you are interested and you are using keybinds, you might wanna know that primary is control. So control plus or control minus is to zoom in or out. And, but I use mostly like control, sorry, yeah, control S rather to save and control N to start a new file, okay? I am gonna cancel this now. If you're gonna be working in a directory for any period of time, I would right click, this is the tree browser plugin again, and I would say set as root. And that way I am you know, basically in this directory for a long period of time. Now you can set it automatically, I'm sorry, uh, manually as well, all right? But if you want to go back and you wanna you know, forget this, I can simply hit home and then you're back to your user home directory. I am using ABC Dark, okay, for this color scheme. I really like the way it looks. However, I do make one change to that configuration file, and I'm gonna show you what it is right now, okay? I'm gonna go into the dot config, Genie, color schemes, and look at ABC Dark. Now see all these hashtags, these are commented uh, lines of configuration code, all right? I like the comments to be italicized. I know I don't know if anybody else likes it that way. However, I'm gonna go down to the comment where the color is, okay? And if I just say semicolon, 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 and then say true, oop, true, and then save, okay? Now, in order for this to actually come into effect, I'm going to have to uh, close. So I'm going to close Genie and then reopen Genie. Okay, now you can see everything that is commented is italicized. Now, as an aside, I really am enjoying DWM right now, so much so that I put in a key helper script so that if you are using my configuration, you can use a keybind and it will show you what, um, what the actual keybinds are. So if I hit Super H, for example, it shows you Super F is Thunar and Genie and so on and so forth, okay? And then obvi obviously the DWM tag bindings. So in order for me to have, I don't know, troubleshooted this, it was really easy for me to write the script and then hit F5 so that it executes uh, directly from Genie. Now, most of you are gonna go, no kidding, Drew. Everyone knows that if you hit F5, it ex executes the command. All right, you're fair enough. But at the same time, not everybody knows that. Finishing up on a couple random things, one is if you decide that you wanna create another file, you can simply hit Control N, and that will start, let me just do that real quick. Control N, all right? And then when you want to save this, you have to save it as, and then you have to find where you want to actually save it. Now, if you're 
in the tree browser like I am right now and you hit a key bind that you set for yourself. So basically, let me go down to preferences, key bindings, and at the very bottom, most likely, it's gonna be your tree browser uh, key bind. So I'm gonna say new file alt n, okay? I'm gonna cancel this and then say alt n, all right? And it actually puts it in the directory that I was currently in. And if I hit the enter key, I can just say, uh, test.sh so that it knows it's a shell script and that you can go from there, which is a really nice feature that I don't know that everybody knows about, but still uh, very good. So what I'm going to do right now is a use case that I have used in the past and want to demonstrate it here. It's incorporating visual block as well as a few other things, including insert num. So what I want to do initially is just add 12 lines, okay? And I'm gonna go to character one on line one and then hold control shift and then the left mouse click and go down here to 12, okay? Now I can simply just drag this out and so if I do have uh, lead characters, I can just say uh, delete and it will do so. So what I'm gonna do though is use the hashtag here, couple spaces, and then say dot MKB, okay? And now what I wanna do is um, I'm gonna go back to this position here, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, control shift, and then go all the way down to where I want it to end. And now click, left click, okay? And so it basically is putting it in this position right in front of the dot. And now when I want to, I'm gonna to go to uh, tools and insert num. Now I use the alt I, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, alt I, okay? It's gonna start it at one, and it's going to increment one on every single line. So we're gonna go from one.mkv all the way to 12.mkv. So when I go okay, it's going to fill that in. Now, while I'm here, I might as well strip out these uh, pound signs. So I'm going to, um, while the cursor's here, I'm gonna go up to this point, control, shift, left click, and then drag it back, okay? And now I can just hit delete, and there you go. It's basically taking out all those uh, leader spaces and the, uh, the pound sign. Now, I want to string these together, so it will be 1.mkv plus 2.mkv, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to go to search here and replace. And the backslash n is basically a new line, so it's going to strip that out and then put in a space plus and then another space and make sure that you have use regular expressions, use multi-line matching, okay? And then in the replace all, I'm going to use in document, and it's going to use all of that, it's going to replace that new line and put in that plus, um, that space plus, and then another space. So that I have this, I can then kind of use it to merge all of my MKV files. Um, it, it makes things easy for me if I have lost my, <laughs> if I've lost um, my file that says, here, this is how you do this, okay? But regardless, I use this for MKV merge, okay? There will be a link in the description if you're interested. I don't, as I've said many, many times, this is how I actually build my YouTube uh, videos, I um, put them in segments and then I string them together and merge them in command line. And that is the extent of my editing. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really love Genie. I hope that if you have any inclination to use the software, please do, please take it, give it a shot rather. I should say it that way. Give it a shot because I think it's very, very cool. All right. See you soon.